It reads, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continue to be in my mouth. My soul should make a boast in the Lord. The humble should hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. And we ask you to do just that. Help us exalt his name together. We ask us to to come up and give us a word of prayer. Oh, we thank you, we praise you, we honor you, we exalt your name. For you alone are God and human being and the Lord of glory. We ask, Lord Jesus, that you come into this place and feel the atmosphere with your presence, Lord Jesus. We decrease, hallelujah, that you may increase, that you get the glory. Let no flesh be glorified, the Lord, as the word come forth, Lord, let it feed our soul and encourage those who are watching, hallelujah, and those who are listening, hallelujah. For those who are sick and afflicted on the bed, hallelujah, Lord, we ask that you send a, a healing their way on today, hallelujah. For those who are down and out and just depressed, hallelujah, we ask that you send joy, hallelujah. We let your presence be known on today, Lord Jesus. We take a back seat, hallelujah, that you may get all the glory and all the glory that's due unto your name, Lord Jesus. For you are our Father, our King, our Lord and Lord, our Savior on today, hallelujah, and we thank you and we exalt your name. Lord, bless the musicians as they play skillfully today, Lord Jesus, and every word and song that comes out of your mouth. Let out of our mouth, Lord, let it be anointing and gifted unto you, that you may receive our praise as a sweet smell of Savior unto you, hallelujah. And we thank you and praise you in Jesus' precious name, amen and amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. As we sing this first song, we usher in the praises unto the Lord. So do sing with us to the glory of his name. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him.
Does he want his love for you? seem like it's going, and God is still able to do all things, amen, so we count him worthy, we count him able, amen, and we will continue to believe and trust amen. in the name of our God, amen, because, amen, he is just that kind of God, if he can raise the dead, amen, he can work out your situation, whatever you might be in, amen, God is able to do it today in Jesus' name, amen, we thank God for our praise team, we thank God for everyone, House of the Lord, amen. We give God the glory, amen, and the honor, amen, uh, for He is uh, uh, that kind of God, and He is worthy of our praise, amen. So we lift Him on today in Jesus' name, amen. And God, again, everyone who is joining us, amen, whether it be in the sanctuary, uh, be on uh, social media, amen. We thank God for you, you and you, amen, for joining us, amen. We pray that you are joined, amen, your time with us on today, amen. God. Is good, amen. You can be with us uh, Sunday mornings at 10 o'clock uh, here, uh, or you can join us, uh, and you can join us on Tuesday nights. Uh, we are uh, we're live at 7 o'clock, amen, uh, on Facebook and YouTube, amen. So, amen. Uh, we thank God amen, for uh, these meetings, and uh, we do encourage you to join with us, amen. We, all, we always try to have something. Amen. That is going to be a blessing unto you. Amen. We praise God. We're about to uh, hear the word of the Lord. Amen. We want you to uh, go with us one more time as we sing the one more song. Yeah. Amen. And after that song, amen, we will hear from uh, Elder Pelham. He will speak to us on today in Jesus' name. Let us receive what the Lord will have to say unto us. I encourage you as you're listening uh, to like and to share this. Amen. Making comments. Amen. We cannot. Everybody can say amen or uh, in, in the sanctuary, but you can say amen with your fingers, amen, and uh, and, and uh, make comments and and, uh, and and share like this as we're going forth in Jesus' name, amen. We praise God. Uh, sometimes you, you, you get down, amen, as was stated from the outset, amen, but uh, there's something about thinking of how good God is and, uh, and how wonderful and how great and how mighty he is, and even the things that he has brought us out of, you may not be where you want to be right now, but you can look back over your life, and you can see where God has delivered you, God has brought you out of so many different things, amen, so we, we thank God, amen, we, when we begin to think about these things, it ought to bring joy to our heart, amen, it ought to lift our minds, it ought to lift our spirits, amen, so we thank God, and every time that if you try to get us to get us down, amen. We know that the joy of the Lord, amen, that is our strength. That is our strength, amen. So sing with us, praise the Lord with us as we go forth, amen. In the song, amen. Then the word of the Lord this morning in Jesus' name. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Yes. The joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord. The joy of
So there's something that we have to give back unto God. Uh, God gave us many things. Amen. But what shall we render back unto God? Uh, in the book of Genesis, the Bible says, Amen, God created man. And it says, He created him in his own image. But that image that God created man in was encapsulated in a body. Not a body. In a body. Uh, the image would not do us any good, or would not do God any good, would not serve him at all, if that image was not encapsulated in a body. How many know that we get things done by our body? Uh, I can send you a picture of me all day, and that picture won't do a thing. But if I got, if you have the body, then you can get the things done. And so God created man in his own image, but that image was encapsulated in a body. And that body was Adam and Eve at the time. So, so God works with the body. That's why it's very important that we take care of our what? Body. Because we only get one. Oh, I know if we get technical say yes, after we die, we'll get another glorified body. But right here, you only get one. Uh, so it, it's very important that we take care of the one body that we do have. Because God uses us through the body. I don't believe that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see, without the body, you can't be used by God. But God uses you through your body. Amen. And the Bible says that we need to do something with that body. We need to present that body to God. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, what's the purpose of presenting to God? It's so that God can do what he wants to do with that body. God wants great things to come of the body that he's given us. Amen. God wants us to witness with that body. God wants us to praise him with that body. God wants us to do great things with the what? With the body that he's given us. And, and, and think about it sometimes we don't even take care of the body that God's given us. We only get one. We only get one. Uh, uh, and with that body, sometimes we are we are overeat, we eat too many sweets, we, we do things with the body that ain't good. Amen. But, but God wants God wants to use the body that He has given us for His glory. I say, for the glory of God. For the glory of God. So he said, he said, I beseech you, brothers. Amen. Paul was talking, I beseech you, brothers. I beseech you, brethren, not the world. He's not talking about the world now. He said, I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, by all the things that God has done for you. I beg of you to think about the many things that God has done for you. And when you think about it, present that body to God a living sacrifice. See, those that they had what they call sacrifice, but they would, they would take the sacrifice to that was that was dead. And then when the sacrifice was dead, they could move the sacrifice everywhere they wanted to go. He who controlled the sacrifice could do anything he wanted to do with the sacrifice. We already talked that yet. But he who controlled the sacrifice could do anything he wanted to do with the sacrifice. Mm. But now God can ask us to do the same thing, but he don't want a dead sacrifice. He wants a living sacrifice. What God is saying, I want to do what I want to do with you. Why are you yet alive? Because when you're dead, I can't use you no more. Oh, I like that. When, when, when the Bible talks about us that we are in this world, and God wants to use us who are in this world. God wants to use that body to reach the unseen. God wants to use that body to declare his goodness. But if you don't use the body that God has given you, you only get one. You only get one. When you go down in that, that grave, that body is gone. Now, there are many people who we've known who have gone down to the grave. They were, they were good people, but they can't do nothing now. Are you hearing me? Well, there are there some great people in the grave. There's some people with knowledge in the grave. There's some people who will do a whole lot in the grave, but they can't do anything now. Why? Because that body is gone. But see, we got body 
is here. And God will use the bodies that are here right now. I tell you, you got to use it while you're alive because when you're dead, it's gone. All the good that you can do, you got to do it right now because when you're dead, it's gone. Are you hearing me? So then I beseech you, therefore, brother, I beg on you, my brother. I'm not talking to the world, I'm talking to the church. Because there are many people in the church who have not yet presented their bodies holy unto God. Are you hearing me? My God, when you come to church, and it's good to come to church on Sunday, that's fine. It's good to go to Bible on Sunday, on Tuesday, that's good. But God wants to use your body after it. God was reminded to be stayed on him. My God, if God was going to walk up and, and they can see your house. We talk about the image, but God created man in his own image, but he put that image in a body. Uh, because he, God knew that I can use the image. The image looked good, I can look at the image. And the image can look good, but I can't do a thing with the image, and the image can't do a thing with me. But if I can convert that image into a body. Even God said, he, he gave Jesus, he made him a body. And he sent him down on this earth because he needed what? He needed a body. Oh we got body people today. We got body that God wants to sell out to him and God wants to use your body. So Paul said, I beseech you, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice. That means I want you to present that body unto God and let God use that. Just think, if everybody who was in the church allowed God to use them the way God wanted to use them, what kind of church would this be? If when God spoke to you and said, I, I want you to do this with your body and that with your body, and we were obedient unto God, what kind of church would this be? And God, I want you to praise me with your body. I want you to glorify me with your body. What kind of church would be that? Woo! Can you, can you just stop for a minute and just imagine? If everybody who came in here was not just on one accord, but allowed God to use their body as God wanted to do. See, so often now, they mean, people want to do what they want to do. Act as like they want to act. But God said, I want to take control of the sacrifice. I want to take control of the one that presents their body to me. I want to be able to tell them what to do, what to say, where to go, how to act. Oh my God. How many know if we get God complete control of our body, my God, we can move mountains around here. But y'all believe it. If we get God complete control of our body, there would be no answer given. He'll be given glory unto God. You own the gift one. And that's the value of a beat. Some of our bodies are, are 60 years old, some are 50 years old, some are 40 years old, some are 80 and 90 and a 70 years old. God can use that body. See, God don't care about the age. I know we do, but God said, I don't care about how old you are, but I want to get good use out of that body. Because when that body is gone, there's nothing that I can do with that body. See, that body is not just yours. It belongs to God. Are you hearing me? That body belongs to God. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, after you go, God will have some more part to deal with. But why are you here? The God wants to deal with your body. He's telling us today you only get one. You only get one. That's why it's, it's of the utmost importance that we take care of that one body. Are you hear me? So the writer says here, I beseech the brother by the mercies of God that you present to your bodies a living sacrifice. And then he tells us how to present it. I want you to present it to them all day. Don't, don't bring me anything. Don't bring me something you don't want. You know how when we give stuff away, 
thing out of our house to clean our houses and we give them away that we don't want. Yeah, yeah, see, see the stuff that we won't keep, we keep that, but, but we give with stuff we don't want. But God, you don't, don't bring me something that you don't want. God, bring me the good stuff. Bring me back and have to use. I'll take care of your body so that I can use you. Woo! I'm going to use it to use it up. I have to make love. See, God wants to control you. Present your body, living sacrifice. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. <laughs> My God, the Bible, God. God can be holy while I am holy. And some people get confused about that holy thing. They, they, they look at holy and be some denomination. Don't hear me. But my God, but holy go beyond denomination. My God, before the denomination was here, holy was already here. I go hear me. Before any of holiness were touched or born, holiness was already here. Before anything got here, holy was here because the holy got here when God got here. Because God is what? Holy. My God, so God said, if you want to be like me, uh, when you bring yourself to me, bring yourself to be holy. Because God, I can use you when you're holy. I can use you when you're holy. When you are sold out to me, when you are sold out yourself to me, in holiness, God, I can use you. You are right. You are right to you because God said, now you have the right attitude. Now do not worry about all these other things. Your mind is on God. And when we get our mind on Christ, you can believe God that you bring for us. And we get our mind on Christ. Woo! Why do you know? We walk and we turn to the house of God and our mind is on other things. Oh yes, our body might be here, but our mind is something else. But God, I want your body and your mind. Let this mind be in you with a long soul in Christ Jesus. Woo! My God. Oh, how many times we come to the house of God? My God, we sit and the preacher is preaching. My God, but our mind on something else. Our mind on Facebook. Our mind on Instagram. Our mind on all the other stuff. But God, I can't use you like that. You got to be thrown out to me. Yeah. Woo, my God. Hallelujah. But it's happened to teach your brother. Well, the worship of God. And I like it when he's praying for this. I'm not talking to the world. I'm talking to the church. I beseech your brethren. But the mercy of God. Because God has done great things for us. That's God's mercy. Somebody when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me. My soul is crying out. Hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. Ah, thank God down here. You know, there's some folks that woke up this morning and couldn't even feed themselves. Couldn't even make themselves. But the get you here. You have covered your body. You brought your body here. And God said, now I want to use you for my glory. I want to use you for my Oh, I know we're going to sit on the outside, but I, that's all right. We're going to sit on the outside. I'm going to use it for him, for my glory. Woo! I'm not ready to be used by God. I'm not ready really want to be used by God. But you're going to be used by God. You want God to take control of that sacrifice. I want God to take total control of the sacrifice. Oh my God, a living sacrifice. I want to live 24 7 for God. Woo! Oh my God. So Paul, and I'm encouraging the church, brother. Present yourself a living sacrifice. My God, hold it. Hold it. Holy! Yes, God. Yes. <laughs> I didn't know. Men are playing holy. Yes, Lord. Uh, my God, but God, I want your real holy. Amen. I 
supposed to be able to use you. Oh, God, because if he, you're holy, you're like me. He, I'm not, we got to be the reason now. But God said, I am going to change. Now, so when you get holy like I am, God said, now I can use you. Are you here? Oh. So, when God, at the beginning, God created a man. Oh, he created a man. He gave that man a, in his own image. Oh, and then he put that image in a body. And now God said, because it's in my body. Oh, God, now I can use this body. Now I don't want people to see you. When they see you, I want them to see me. When they see you, when they see your body, I want them to see my image. Are you hear me? See, when they see your body, God said, I want them to see my image. Because I created you in my image. And I stack my image on your body. So when they see your body, I want them to be able to see my image. In your body. See, I don't want them to see no foolishness when they see your body. Because your body was created in my image. Uh, so when they see you, I want them to see who you me. God said, when they see you, I really, I don't even want them to see you. The Bible says, when your life is hid. Your life is hid in Christ. So God, when they, when they see you, I don't want them looking at you. I, I want them to see me. Are y'all here? Woo, present your body. Living sacrifice, I'm almost done. Uh, only acceptable unto God. Uh, how many I want to be accepted by God? Oh, I like it, God. You know, I don't want to stand before God and God say, I reject you. Uh, you you've been in church for 30 years and I reject you. Because if you, you, you brought your body to the church, but, but you weren't even there most of the time. Uh, you, you brought your body to the church. Uh, you clothed that body. You dressed that body. But you weren't even there. Uh, there was something going on there. And God, I couldn't even use you. Like I wanted to use you because your body was there. Uh, but your mind was gone. I want that body, that mind to stay put. And then I want you to be able to use that body. Ooh, do you know what? When God uses your body the way he wants to, you wouldn't have to worry about doing the wrong thing. You wouldn't have to worry about saying the wrong thing. You wouldn't have to worry about doing something. Oh, I should not have done that. Because when God uses your body, believe me, God will lead you in the right way. No apologies. <laughs> See, when God uses you, you have to have no apologies. Because God will lead you in the right way. And the problem is sometimes. As people of God, we want to do things our way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we want to do things our way, but God said, no, do it my way. If you do it my way, everything will be all right. Hallelujah. But the Bible says here, I'm trying to get out of here, but it says, which is your reasonable sin. Mm -hmm. This is the thing to be in face of you. This is what you should be doing when you're in the house of God. God said, I want to take control of you. Oh my God. I'm y'all about to be so lovable today. I know some of uncontrollable. Uh, but how many are controllable? How, how many want to be clay in the hands of God? Uh, that God can use you as He wants to. That when God tells you to do something, you're not going to question God because you know it's going to be God because you have a relationship with God. And then it says, and be not. Now, again, I want to take note of who he's talking to. He's not talking to the world. He's talking to the church. He's talking to the brethren. So what is he telling the world? He said, be not conformed to this white world. That word conform in the Greek literally means be not fashioned after the world. Would be be not be don't, don't look like the world. Y'all hear me? Uh, see, see, y'all think of the business ten and ten did. Put a difference. Put a difference between holy and unholy. Between clean and unclean. The Bible says, put away, put a difference. Folks, you look at you, you kind of have to figure out 
much more. And it's not just in the with the drip or what you have on. Let me go a little deeper on that one because see, anybody can put on a long dress and a hat. Are y'all here? <laughs> oh, most of y'all have heard this before. I, I, uh, years and years ago, God gave me a vision, and He said, "You got to the church is, is not discerning spirits." And God said, "You can go downtown and pick up a prostitute and put a long dress on her and put a hat on her head and teach her to pray the Lord and bring the church in the church will be the door." Because many have lost the spirit of discernment. Are y'all hearing me? So, it, it's no big deal when you can put a dress on and, and a cap and a scarf or a bread or a hat on. It's no big deal with God. Yes, we should be, we should dress, amen, with, with, with modesty. I understand that. I get that. But that don't impress God if the body is doing what it want to do. Are y'all hearing me? And see, God wants to bring everything together. And that body has to come in to communion with God. Ooh. One thing I found out about the church, the church, we try to clean folks up before they come to the church. I found out in, in years, for years, the church try to clean up folks before folks come. I, but I understand that if, if you come, let God, the God will clean you. Now that God is the ultimate cleaner. Because when God sends forth his spirit among people, amen, that spirit may begin to teach folks things, and, and God will begin to let you know, this is what I want, this is my goal, this is acceptable, this is not acceptable. So present your body to God living, sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which your reasonable servant be not conformed to this world. Be not conformed to the world. Don't be like this world. Church, we got to wake up now. Because there are many people, now, if truth be told, there are many people that's in the church of God that's trying to be like the world. Can I get an amen? amen. There was a time once where, where, where people see the church and they want to be like, like the people in the church. Look at them. They got some and, and they will be ashamed of their appearance to be around somebody who in the church. But now it seems like the script has been flipped. Well, the church is now looking at the world and say, you know what? I want that. I want this. And now if you're not careful, there has become a blending of the world and the church. And if you keep on blending so much, you're not going to be able to see the difference. Are y'all hear me? Well, I know when, when I go to the barber shop, I, I tell, tell my barber, I say, I want you to blend it right there with it fade in and fade in and blend it. Wait, 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 wait. It won't be a difference between the ball spot and the hair. It blended, but and it blended, it blended so well you can't you can't even tell where where, where the ball spot and the hair stuck because it blended. Some of y'all wearing that hair, you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but it blended, and, and, and if you we don't we don't want the world and the church to blend that way, but you don't see our lines of demarcation. There should be a line of demarcation where, where they, okay, the, the world stopped here and the church started there. And when God uses you the way he wants to use you, believe me, you are going to present a difference to the world. And it's just like the vinegar tin and tin says, you're going to put a difference. Be holy. That doesn't hold me. I'm almost done. Be on the phone the world, but be transformed. By the renewing of your mind that you may prove. What is that good? That is acceptable. That is perfect. 
we'll look up and bring that down just a little bit by post. And that he may prove that, that word prove, you know, I do a little so so they don't think that that exists. That word prove literally in the Greek means to find it and follow. To find it and to follow. Find out what God likes and follow it. And that should be the goal of the church to find out what God likes and then follow it. Find out what God don't like and stay away from it. Are y'all hearing me? And that's what God see when God said, when I want to use your body the way I want to, I want you to be in the process of getting that mind all considered that when you see something I like, God, I want you to seek after that thing. When you find something that I approve of, run after it. But when you when you find something that I don't approve of it, run away from it. The Bible tells us to flee fornication. That means run from it. Oh, and some of them, we're not running from sin fast enough. That means when you see something wrong, you better run from it. Joseph had enough sense to know that when part of when Paul, part of the wife wanted to get him, <laughs> that he had to what? Leave his shirt and all the things he had and run away. And see, sometimes we don't run from it fast enough. You find yourself entrapped. Mm. See, I found a lot of people doing wrong. They really, a many people don't want to do wrong, but they get entrapped in the system. I mean, sin is a system. Sin is a system. And it entraps you in that system. And once it entraps you in that system, then it starts eating you up. That, that, that's a big plant. I've got the name of plant called. It's a big old plant that they just grab up. Some come and eat it. There you go. The fly catcher thing. You got it. Thank you to the dip. That thing, it, 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 it's just there looking pretty. It's just looking pretty. Now, you know, and it, it, it looks good. And, and, and then the little things, the fly trap, right? The, yeah, and, and they, they come in and they start, start messing around in it and they stay too long and then they get glued, I think they get glued there a little bit and the thing starts. What was it, Venus flytrap? Venus flytrap, that's it. Venus flytrap. And, and, and it, 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 it gets you back there and, and you get in it and you, you play around and you stay too long and the thing starts going to you. And before you know, you trapped. See, that's the game sin is playing with you. See, you, you go into it, and, and many of the things that we're doing, it, it's not wrong in and of itself, but, but you stay right there too long, and sin begin to show you other stuff. Well, while you're here, why don't you go there? Since you're already here, why don't you go there? And see, that's how the devil does, even with the internet, you know, they got stuff on the internet now, you know, things that we used to run away from trying to hide, you know, you can go on the internet now and you can be anything in the town. Pornography, all up in the internet. Garbage, all up in the internet. And it's the same matter. And our children are spending more time on computers now than they have ever before. And some of y'all put them in time out in their own room with their iPad. You put them in time out in their own room with their iPad, they might not want you to come back. Because they step by right there to see in that iPad, once they get online, they can go anywhere they want to go. See anything they want to see. Right there. Because see, now that they're playing with that thing and then that trap is coming down, and then you begin to wonder what happened to my child? What happened to my child? <laughs> but see, the child got trapped. Are y'all here? Because the devil's out to get bodies. I'm told you, the devil's out to get bodies. He's out to get bodies. I told you earlier, see, God, he, he can't use you unless your body is, is functioning right. Can't really, can't really use you. Now, if, if your body is staying tight all the time, how much do you think you really do? Huh? You, you live it, but how much can you really do? For God. That's right, for God. I mean, if, if you can't function in your body, because God wants a functioning body. That's why 
I want to read with me to pray for good health. Because God wants to hold you in his body. And think about things like We only get one. We only get one. We only get one. When this body lays down, that's pretty much it. But for this body, well, I don't need it yet. Glorify body yet. I, I'm good with that. But in this world, see, once you get smart about body, it's not much you can do to help nobody else. But that body you have here can help other folks. You know, hear me? What has your body done lately for God? For God. Now I know we do things for ourselves. But what has your body done lately for God? That's a good question. That's a good question. I'm going to with that question. Because there are many things that we can do in life. But I'm willing to say that most of the things that we do with our body is for us. And yes, we need to do things. Yes, we need to do things for us to take care of this body. But God wants us to wants to use this body for his glory. We all need that. You don't need me. Come on, Pastor. What do you need for your body? For God. Thank God you only get one. Use it for God's glory. Use it for God's glory. If you see somebody that need help, you can help them. See, everything you do in the body don't have to be spiritual. It's not just poor spiritual you know, you know, that things you can do everybody can help people. Are you hearing me? Everybody needs to have to be financial. Anybody can be your dog. Because you can get tired, uh, 100% tired all the time, and, and, and still not serve the, the, full, the purpose of that body. What do you mean you're done wrong by being tired? What do you mean that? But God has great need for bodies. Will your body be one of them? Come on, Pastor. That's my last question. Will your body be one of them? Amen. Give God a hand, praise right now in Jesus' name. God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. We thank God for the word of God. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I know that um, some things are said to bless yes. all of us. Yes. Amen. You only get one. Amen. You only get one. And so think about They were speaking, I was thinking about the teeth. You only get your, you have your children, your child teeth, but once those are gone, that set you get is the only thing you, that's all you got there. That's all you got there. So they can do some stuff to help you out. <laughs> oh, yes. But uh, you only get, you only get, you only get that one. I thank God for the word of the Lord, and, and I've, been, uh, uh, I've been blessed. Anytime you, anytime you feel uh, you need to change something from the word of the Lord, amen. It's a good word, amen. amen. We thank God for the word of the Lord. Let's give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. Amen. As long as I'm here, I want to give God all that I have. Yes. Bless yes. the Lord with my body. Amen. 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 We're going to ask him to stand um, if you're able to stand. Amen. 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 There's, there's not a whole lot, you know, and I won't, I won't do more, but listen, there's not a whole lot that we don't deal with. Amen. We, we, are, we are a very thorough <laughs> church, amen. amen. <laughs> we, we, get, we get teaching on all kinds of things, and I love that. Amen. I love that. Some people stay in one vein, that's all, that's all they deal with. But uh, we thank God we have a church that deals with, we try to deal with everything, amen. amen. That we want to deal with more and more, amen, as the time yeah. approaches. Amen. We thank God, amen, amen. Uh, 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 somebody, somebody looking today would say, 
be in good health. Amen. May you prosper and be in good health. We, we want to be able to do what we need to do right. as long as we are here. Amen. Right. We want to be here as long as we can. Right. <laughs> and so we thank God that while we're here, we want to give God right. all that we have. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. We praise God. Let us bow. Lord, we thank you for your blessing. We thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you, God, for this service. Yeah. We thank you, all your people. We praise your God for speaking to our hearts and our minds of today, God. I pray, God, that we are able to leave this place with uh, something that is rooted in us, God. We pray that you be our protection, our strength, watch over your people, oh God, even as we leave this place, oh God. Oh God, even until we're able to come together again, oh God. Be with us. We thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.